Pop? <laughs> How many times have I told you not to leave your skates in the path? Just for that, you can consider your allowance docketed at 25 cents. Okay. That makes only a dollar seventy-five, you owe me. Never mind the high finance. I'll pick up my lunch pail and my jacket. Hello, Babsy. Hi, Daddy. Gee, you look tired. Oh, I'm wore out. If my underwear wasn't starched, I'd cave in. <laughs> Plane. Why does it have to be in my favorite chair? It's got the biggest seat. <laughs> Daddy, no! What do you mean, no? My knitting. I work hard all day to make ends meet. When I come home, I can't even sit down. I'll move it. Well, there's going to be changes around here. You kids have got to remember that I'm the Lord and Master in this house. Only your mother realizes how hard I work all day and have to relax and sit down. Oh, hello, dear. Oh, don't sit down. <laughs> You've got to fix the pilot light on the kitchen stove. I fixed that pilot light yesterday. She was alive and gone. She's dead and gone now. I can't fix it now. I've got other things to do. What other things? Well, I... I gotta... I... It, Daddy promised to bring the chest with my summer clothes down from the attic. That's right. I got to bring Babs's chest down from the attic. Let's do it now, Daddy. I can't. I got to fix the pilot light. Come on. Let's fix it then. I might just as well have stayed riveted. At least I'd have got overtime. Oh, here's the screwdriver. It's that little gizmo down there. Yeah, I know what gizmo it is. Don't forget, Daddy. You promised to bring the chest with my summer clothes in it down from the attic. Better mirror that hole on the screen, too, Pop. Flies are coming in in droves. Let them come in. They're probably looking for a place to sit down, too. Well, you promised we'd do a little work around the house tonight. A little work. Fix the pilot light. Mend the screens. Bring down the chest. Empty the incinerator. Empty the inc... <laughs> Stop inventing things. Uh, yeah, that's fixed. Uh, give me a match. Uh, over the stove. Oh. I may have to turn it up a little. Mm -hmm. Wrecking my nerves, Gillis. Pass us all. Sort of jumpy, ain't you, Ryle? I ain't getting my proper rest. Insomnia? Not only that, I can't sleep either. Don't sound like you, Ryle. You've been working too hard. It's not just the work, it's the family, too. I know what you mean. I love my wife just as well as the next guy. Just my luck, the next guy didn't get her. You know... Every guy ought to be able to get away from his family once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, then when he came back, they'd appreciate him. Let him sit down. How about our vacation starting Monday? Oh, I hate to think of it. Peg's got the work all lined up for me. Furnace, screens, fix the porch. No, you don't get it. Supposing you and I go up to Beaver Lake for a week. Peg would take the screens with her. No, just the two of us. We could get a cabin and be bachelors again for a week. <coughs> bachelors? Sure. We could do what we want to do, cook when we want to, go to bed when we want to. What do you say, Ryle? Uh, I don't know, Gillis. What did Peg say? Okay. If you're scared of your family, forget it. Who's scared? If I want to go, I'll go. <laughs> Just if I want to go. <laughs> it's time we put our feet down and show them who's boss. Yeah. They can't kick us around. Now you're talking, Ryle. The time has come for us to revolt. It's a gate. Why can't we have something once without onions in it? Your father likes onions. Here's the evening paper. Can I have the funnies? Not yet. You know how your father fusses if the paper's messed up. Yeah. He's sure getting tough to handle. Your father's been working very hard. 
You children should show him a little consideration. We do, Mom. We'll be angels during his vacation. Where are we going? You know, I've been thinking. Maybe your father should go away somewhere by himself for his vacation. Would you mind much? Golly, no. I think it's a wonderful idea. It sure would get him out from underfoot. Do you think he'd go for it? Well, if we all showed him we didn't mind, we might talk him into it. Peg, where are you? In the kitchen. Now, don't say anything, and I'll talk to him about it later on. Hi, Riley. Hi, Dad. Hi, Pops. I'm glad you're all here. <laughs> From now on, what I say around this house, don't come out of one ear and go in the other. <laughs> Dinner will be ready in a little while. That's not the point. <laughs> I want you all to understand one thing. Usually when I come home, I meet calm and pleasant. But tonight, I'm revolting. That's not much of a change. <laughs> You're just self-conscious because you've been a little fussy lately. Twisting my words around in my mouth won't do you no good. I'm going away on my vacation alone with Gillis. Why, darling, I think that's fine. I'm all for it. What are you shoving off, Pa? I don't want no arguments. My head is made up. I'm going with Gillis and that's that. Oh, you'll have a wonderful week. Peg, you didn't hear me good. I said I was going away by myself. We heard you. You can pack what you'll need tonight. You can take my new fishing rod, Pop. I'll pack your bag for you. Now, just a minute. I don't know what to say about this. Well, of course, dear. It's your own idea. Of course, if it'll make you all unhappy, I'm willing to give it up. Of course not. Don't get going, Pop. Yeah, well, well, maybe it's not such a good idea at that. Suppose something goes wrong with the hot water heater. Who always fixes it? Mom. I'm there to give her advice, ain't I? Now, stop making up excuses, Riley. You're going, and we're not letting you back out of it. Fine thing. My own family pushing me right out of my house. You're good. I'm going out to get some fresh air. I sure you don't want me to change my mind. Riley, we argued that out most of last night. Oh, look, there comes Mr. Gillis. Holy smoke. He looks like he's going to Siberia. All I'm saying is that if you don't hurry, you're going to miss that bus, and I'm not going to stand for it. Hi, honey bee. Mr. Gillis. Hi. Hi, Hi kids. Ready, Riley? He's been ready since 6 o'clock. Hey, Riley, what are those bugs on your head? <laughs> oh, bugs, they're flies. They got plenty of flies up there. You don't have to import them. There's the bus. I knew you'd miss it. I told you so. Take it easy, will you? It's just stopping at Myrtle Street. Goodbye, Daddy. Have a good time. Yeah, goodbye. Hand me my suitcase. Where's my water? Right at your feet. Oh. Now, Junior, you'll be a good boy, you hear? Goodbye, Dumplin. That's honey for you. Hey, get those things out of my hair. Oh, take it easy. Goodbye, Riley. Take good care of yourself. Yeah. If you don't get started, you'll miss the bus. Don't worry. I'm going. Come on, Riley. Yeah. If you miss me, couple, I'll come right home. It's at Pine. We better run for it, Riley. Help me pick up this stuff, Junior. Hurry up. The bus. Hold it. Sid Gillis? That's what the man said. Cozy coat, cabin six. You think it's haunted? It's perfect for a couple of happy bachelors. Drop your stuff and open her up. Might need Aaron out. Get a load of this air, Ryle. Loaded with ozone. Where'd he go? You don't have to look for termites. We only took the joint for a week. 
Well, to fix this porch, somebody's liable to get hurt. Will you stop worrying about little details? Come on, let's go in. <laughs> what do you think of it, Gillis? Well, it ain't the Ritz Waldorf Towers, but it's all right for roughing it. You better lock the door, keep out the bears. <laughs> Somebody's been tampering with that lock. What about these bunks? I'll let you have the upper. There's more air near the roof. Oh. We can take turns cooking. You one day, me the next, huh? Eh? Ah, fresh fish every day out of that stream. Boy, that's living, Lyle. <laughs> How long ago did we leave home, Gillis? Five hours and 16 minutes ago. <laughs> Peg says to me, have a good time, Rowdy. Don't get homesick. <laughs> Can you imagine me getting homesick? <laughs> Bad chance. Oh! Six days and 19 hours, Ryle. You and me are going to live like kings. <sighs> you know, Gillis... George Washington could have slept here. It's a cinch he didn't sit down. <laughs> sure is beautiful up in these woods, isn't it? It's terrific. Can you help me get some of these brambles off? You take care of yours, I'll take care of mine. Smell that air after the storm? <coughs> Pure H2O. We didn't make no mistake coming up here, Gillis. Ah, this is the life, Brian. Yeah, this is the life, all right. How long have we been up here? 26 hours, 25 minutes, and 12 seconds. Yeah, this is the life, all right. Yeah, this is the life. You ain't getting homesick, are you, Ryle? Me? <laughs> I should say not. <laughs> you? Are you kidding? If I was home, what would I be doing? Playing ping pong with my son, Egbert. Getting beat. I'd be out in the backyard playing catch with Junior. Or watering my little garden to see if the carrots were up yet. If it was hot, I'd be laying in a hammock under the walnut trees with a glass of lemonade in my hand. Babs would be swinging me Junior would be swishing off the flies. Peg would be reading me the baseball scores. Oh, that's the life, Gillis. Yeah, that's the life. But this life is better. Yeah, this is the life. Riley, are you sure you aren't getting homesick? Me? Are you kidding? <laughs> Tell you the truth, I may never go back. Yeah, this is the life. Yeah, this is the life. Five days, 22 hours, and 17 minutes to go. Hey, a bird just flew in that bush. Must have a nest in there. Hey, I never seen one of them. Come on, let's look. There it is, eh? Oh, yeah. Hey, Gillis, it's a family. Here's the mama bird and two little kid birdlets. Just like Peg, Babs, and Junior. And pretty soon the papa bird will come home and bring him a worm. Yeah, just like me on payday. Come on, Ryle, let's get out. You're scaring them with your face. Yeah. Hey, Gillis. Birds live just like humans, don't they? What'd you think they lived like? Animals? Come on. <laughs> There it is, Ryle, the old fishing hole. I bet it's just loaded with salmon. Salmon ain't got time to loaf in pools. They spend their whole life swimming up waterfalls. What's that? A frog. Look, Ryle, a mama frog with a little kid froglet. Yeah, call him to its mate. Just like honey being my little Egbert. Looks a little bit like Egbert, too. <laughs> Sounds like honeybee calling me. I wish I could hear Peg yelling for me. 
You better get back to Cozy Coat. It's your turn to do the housework. Okay, good fishing, Gillis. And I'll come home with this loaded with big fish. No more sardines tonight. I bet they're having lunch now. Hot dogs and beans. <laughs> Holy smoke. Somebody's got to give. <laughs> All right, <come> around. <laughs> oh, no! Get us help me. Don't shoot it. Get away from me. Get it. Get it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fish. Bean soup. Place can in boiling water for 20 minutes, open and serve. Shame to move good bean soup water. You. Who were you expecting, Daniel Boone? I was the fishing. Wet. <laughs> you mean you dove in after him? <laughs> What's cooking? It smells awful. A skunk. Skunk? I'd rather eat the sardines. <laughs> you get up all the sardines. The skunk stunk up my clothes. I had to wash them. Where's the fish? the sardines. The big one got away. Where's the fishing pole? How should I know? What do you mean, how should you know? I fell in a pool and a fish swam downstream with it. <laughs> that was Junior's fishing pole. All right, I'll buy him a new one. What's for supper? Ketchup. <laughs> Tonight, honey, be is cooking corned beef and cabbage. Peg is whipping up a pot roast. Babs is manicuring her nails. Junior's got his fat little hand in a pot snagging potatoes. Well, Ryle, I figured something out while I was fishing. Right. This ain't the life. Oh, uh, weakening, huh? Showing your white feathers. Well, let me tell you something. What? I want to go home. All right, Ryle, we'll catch the next bus out. <laughs> well, I forgot to tell you, we also got bean soup. Need salt. Him a lot of good. It sure softened him up. He patted me on the head and gave me a dime. 
Oh, gosh, it's good to see you all around the joint. Oh, I'm sorry I took the children down to the beach. We didn't expect you back so soon. Oh, that's all right. And I'm going to mend every screen in the house tomorrow. Well, thanks, dear. Ah, oh, gee, Peg, it's great to have a family. And I got the best in the world. Well, thanks, dear. A beautiful wife, a sweet, charming daughter, and a fine, clean, upstanding son. Riley, I think that's sweet. I think it's wonderful. I think it's mush. <laughs> well, what's to eat? I've been dreaming about one of your suppers for a week. Well, it's just a pickup. We didn't get back in time to go to the market. We're having hot vegetable soup and fresh biscuits. Oh, boy. And salad and, oh, yes, one of your favorite dishes, sardines. <laughs>